I have to jump in for this one because this is, <laughs> thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is my, uh, this is my attire for painting. <laughs> Go. Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I are giving you a full tour of our bedroom. And we cannot be more excited about this because this has been a long time in coming. We have <laughs> yeah. had a bunch of, we've had a bunch of ideas and they haven't all panned out for us. <laughs> and I have learned one thing and that is I have to do what I really want. I have to do not what's on trend. We talk about that all the time yeah. on our videos on this channel. Forget the trends, think about what you really love and go and do it. So this is probably gonna be, I think it's gonna be a little bit different from what we've really shown on the channel up until now. I think that I just really embraced my love for Scandinavian design. Um, oh yeah. I remember when you were struggling through this and different mood boards and you sat here one morning, it was a Sunday morning, you said, I want a room that makes me feel like Valentina, that makes me feel alive in the morning. Yeah. And within moments, you were like, this is the design. Yes. And I can tell you. And Mr. Um, doubt. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I was a doubter at first, but I can tell you now seeing it, <laughs> I've known her for a long time. And I can tell you this, this room is her. Yeah. You did what you wanted in this room. And yes, it's gonna break some rules. It's breaking a lot. A lot of rules. Of rules. It's doing a lot mm -hmm. of things different and it's got your stamp all over it. Yeah, I feel. I told, I told Jack the other day, when we finally got everything put in here, I was like, I finally feel at home. Yeah. I feel at home. So we've got a lot of surprises to share with you. We've got a lot of great, what I hope will be tips and tricks, but ultimately I hope what you'll always take away from our channel is that you have to design a space for you and you are unique and you are special and the things that make you who you are if you design your spaces around those things, you're gonna always end up with a space that feels like you and it feels like home. So we hope that you'll hit subscribe and we've about hit a quarter of a million subscribers. I can't believe it. I, can't I know we're so it. close. If you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed, please do because that way you can be part of that first 250,000 and yes, then we can start quarter building of a million. The I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much yes. to every single one of you who has hit subscribe. It's so fun because I see a lot of you out on the street and you're like, look, I'm a subscriber and you show me on your phone and stuff. <laughs> and so I'm like, cool. thank you so much. That means so, so much to us. Let's back up momentarily and chat about this space before. So if we go back five years when we were first moving in this house, this mm. room could not be more different. What you doing up there? Uh, See what I can break today. <laughs> I can put a few more holes in the walls. <laughs> take these goofy things off the wall. So what was up there before? The ugliest, dustiest curtains ever made. Well, I don't think they started out dusty. <laughs> no, but you threw them in the garage. When I threw them in the garage, it felt like a bomb went off. Dust was flying out and... It doesn't mean we couldn't wash them. You didn't have to put them in the trash. I mean, they were ugly on top of that. <laughs> If the homeowner's watching, I apologize, but <laughs> the previous homeowner. The previous homeowner. We are the homeowner now. <laughs> we also have to get rid of these tie backs. Oh, that has to go. And all this stuff. And the paint's just seriously messed up and gross in here. So there's just that's like a makeshift desk that was stuck over there. While Jack was working from home and the kids were home for vacation. And then we have a bed. And Realize. then the bathroom is looming ahead of us. Um, why don't we back up just a little bit to when the furniture started to arrive and all the little pieces started to come together and then we'll give you the full reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have to jump in for this one because this is, <laughs> thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I was like watching it be delivered and I'm like, yeah, that's cool. That looks nice. And then as soon as they leave, I'm like, yeah. She came in here so like reserved, like, yes, it looks nice. It looks good, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, yeah. I know. Yeah. Are you it's kidding beautiful. me? 
Are you kidding me? This is perfect for here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So is it bigger than the other one? It's slightly taller and slightly... Wider? No, it's not. It's thinner. Yeah. Thinner. Narrow. It's what all, all, all us girls want. <laughs> taller and thinner? Can, can it just be slightly taller and slightly thinner? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And uh, this one didn't come from the outlet, so like everything works perfectly. And it smells so good. It does. I'm like... <sighs> This is awesome. Okay, beautiful. the last thing I need is for you to please help me upload the digital artwork. Can you put that on here while I style this up and get it reloaded? Please. For a kiss. <laughs> I mean, how many pieces of art? <laughs> I think I downloaded like four from Etsy. Well, one kiss per piece of art. Okay, fine. Oh, one for the lips that time. <laughs> I turned the camera off. <laughs> I am so Okay, that is the least excited that I can like. <laughs> That's a muffled version. That is a muffled version. I should be waiting to get this out till at least tomorrow, but I cannot wait. Oh, it's upside down. Just a minute, just a minute. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Just yourselves. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's perfect. <laughs> Oh my goodness, is this not just absolutely stunning? The other thing that I have, and this is sponsored, they are the sponsor of our video, and that is Brooke Linen. Look at this. Oh, that's cute so cool. Bag they sent us, and it's so great. Let's see. Hi, we're Brooke Linen. Make yourself comfortable. Everything you need to know about living your most comfortable life. I am so excited. They have everything from Turkish towels. They have all different kinds of bedding. They've got the earthy minimalist, the family, the, they, this is cute. They've got the horoscopes and little stickers in the back of their little pamphlets. Oh, I want to look through that. Then they sent me the Lux pillowcases. I can't wait to get this all into the washing machine and onto this bed. Oh my goodness. We have been trying so hard to make this bed the most comfy, wonderful, cannot leave it at the end of the day, just epic bed, place to sleep and to get cozy in. And I feel like this is gonna like take it over the top. Yeah. Think, yeah, their their pillowcases are just silky soft. You have to feel this, come feel it. Ooh. Yes. And then I've got their Lux Core. Oh, they sent me a duvet cover. That was a surprise. Wow, they have hooked us up. That's awesome. What I love about Brooklyn is that they create a luxury product with a budget-friendly price. Oh, oh look at this. Look at that oh my gosh. Buttons. It's so soft. Oh, this is amazing. I can't wait. Okay, we're gonna throw these in the washing machine, the artwork into the picture frames and then we're gonna have to decide whether we're actually painting this room and finishing it off. Since we were just talking about Brooklinen and I was getting this bed fixed with all these beautiful sheets and the duvet that they have sent us, I wanted to share with you the discount code that Brooklinen has sent to us. If you're looking to save on sheets this holiday season, I have great news. Brooklinen is having their holiday sale, so make sure you click the link down below. They're giving us 15% off their sheets and their other products. You guys seriously need to consider ordering the Hardcore Lux Bundle sheet set because it will also save you additional money by bundling your pieces together rather than ordering them individually. And I personally love the sateen finish on these. It is so soft and it is so wonderful. And the sateen is really stronger than even just a regular cotton sheet. So these are really gonna last you a long time. So save money when you buy them, save money by giving yourself longevity. This is the white set and I absolutely love a crisp white. You guys know, I just love that hotel feel with the white. However, you can also get this sheet set in at least 25 other colors. You can mix and match your different, the different collections. You can mix and match the colors. You might want a white duvet and maybe some tan pillowcases. They've got it all. It's amazing. Check out my link down below. I know you guys are gonna love it as much 
as we do. So thank you again to Brooklinen for being our video sponsor. We really appreciate it. Now let's get this room put together, okay? <laughs> so I am uh, a mess. <laughs> this is my uh, this is my attire for painting. <laughs> So yes, hair is in a bun and I have coffee and James Bond. I think it's gonna be amazing and we're just gonna go for it. See how it looks and if not, it's just paint. So we will paint it back. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get painting. Guess what, you guys? It's finally time for Yay. the full tour. Are you as ready for this as we are? We <laughs> cannot wait. I know. I'm so excited. Come, come on, on in. in, come on in. <laughs> We're just gonna start on this side of the room and just work our way around. <laughs> we absolutely love this color on the walls, don't we? I absolutely do. It is a weird name. They called it Locust Black, and I'm like, really, people? You couldn't have come up with a better name than that? However, it's really just this perfect color that's really kind of, it's really, really smoky. It's an off black and you, it's funny cause I couldn't get him around to the idea of doing dark and then he's like, no, I want you to do it black. And I'm like, okay, now, now it's my turn to say, I don't want it to be too dark. So the color on the wall is actually really, really rich charcoal. And in this room, because we don't have that much light, yeah. It really conveys as black, but it really is just the really, really rich gray. Behind me here, behind us, is the door that goes out to the deck. This is one of the features that I wanted to have in our room. It was like a dream feature. <laughs> my parents had that at one of their houses and it was my favorite thing about their house. I just thought that was so cool that you could take your coffee and go out on your deck. This is the original door and we're probably, we're, we are, we're going to replace it. It's, but I hadn't replaced it yet because I've been trying to decide whether we were gonna replace the front door and were we gonna go more modern and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's a so, whole chain of events that has to happen, so. And that's kind of how it is, is that when you decide that you want something really modern, you have to really think through all those little details. Are we gonna change out yeah. the doors? Are we gonna change out all the trim? When we started to think about it, we really thought, you know what we love is those we love those French, that, that European style apartment, that Housemanian style that has the chevron floors and all that yeah. ornate detail. But we love that, that shell with something really modern in it. So in the end, even though I was like, I want all modern, I want all modern, I feel like this really just brought us back home in a way. It really gave us a European vibe to leave those details. So that's a little piece that won't be staying forever. Right. The reason that I wanted this piece is that I love the clean lines on it and I love the wood tone. I struggle to put wood into my homes. It's just not something that I feel connected to, but the black oh, oak like it's this. It's gorgeous. Chef's kiss, it's incredible, I love it. I just have so much fun downloading new art and I think it's just a total blast. So it's wintry right now because I'm in a wintry mood, um, but yeah, it's just awesome. I absolutely love this TV. And then I've also loaded this up with some of our favorite items, the George Jensen candlesticks. Obviously we don't have candles going you know, while we're sleeping or if we're getting sleepy. But I do like to be able to light the rooms, especially at this time of year when it's just, it's just cozy to have something like this going. We did steal the lamp from the kitchen. You guys might notice it's the same lamp and that's because I'm in love with it and I gotta get a second one because I needed something that would be low enough that it wouldn't affect, you know, the remote being able to get to the TV. I've also got some of my favorite books. This is an issue of a magazine called Oak. And then over here, I've got my marble box. I talk about these all the time. I just love having these kinds of simple, beautiful things. I've got the Tatine candle and it is the most, 
incredible fragrance and I love, I always stuck the little lid down in here, but it has this little brass top and these are a little bit pricey. I do know that, but if you don't have it lit, you can put the little lid on it and it's just, it's just really cool. And I have actually put, I burn it down to the bottom and I put a little tea light in there. And if you put the tea light in there, it will just release the fragrance. So it makes it kind of a slow release on it. And it's, yeah, it's just kind of awesome. So then I've also got my planter that I just love this little bubble type of um, little finish on it. It's not really decorated actually. It's really just sort of, I styled up the things that I really just wanted to see every day. My orchid I've actually had for over a year and it just bloomed again and I cannot believe it. So it is ever so slightly blocking a little bit of my side of the TV, but I don't mind. I'm so happy to see that my orchid came back. I, that was amazing. Well, I was wondering where you went. I know, well you put this comfy chair in the window Next to the tree, it's perfect. Yeah, it really is great. It's nice to have this sort of softness in the space and it has one feature that you absolutely love. I do, because it does this. <laughs> you can look anywhere. It's like being on the, the bridge of a starship. Well, it's great because you can, if you're sitting in here and maybe on a Sunday, a lot of times I like to have coffee in bed yes. on Sundays. So you might sit in the chair, but you can also swivel to watch TV. So I love this space and I, we've got tables next to it for I drinks. I give you a drink oh. table, but it's nice because it's really heavy and I love that yeah. brass tone. And so we're, again, I just, you guys know, I love to play with textures. So we've got the velvet of the chair. I know, it's so soft. We've got the kind of the texture of this little knobby blanket, which I just absolutely adore. I love all that knobby texture. We've got the velvet pillow. And then you've got that sort of bronze shininess. Oh, you've got the marble, you've got the concrete of the little table, you've got the linen, and all of that just to this incredible tree. Yeah. I love this tree. I love that yeah, it looked like gorgeous. those European trees that we had. I loved just simply filling it with just really light ornaments, but I've really kind of taken those same elements that are throughout the room. You see a little bit of shine, you see a little bit of glamour, and then there's a little bit of this sort of rusticness to it. It's a little bit antiqued, and I brought whites and golds and silvers and clear, and I really just kept it extremely minimal. And I just, I don't know. Yeah. We didn't even put a star on top. I mean, oh. Can you believe the nerve? Can you believe us? I know. So rebellious. Such rebels. <laughs> but the, originally we were going to put the art wall back here and that will go there after the Christmas tree comes yes, out. Yes, definitely. So we will definitely have all that art put up there. But I did rob it and put it into the living room. So if you saw us putting the artwork together, it ended up in the family room, yeah. which should be live by now. So go check that out on the channel. Yeah. Yes. So, well, let's show them this side of the space, which has the bed. I'm gonna share with you guys my side of the bed and I just absolutely love this little area. First of all, I had the lights installed. These are incredible and they weigh so much and my electrician was like what you literally want me to work out with these things if i turn them on you can't see them as well but they have popped back behind the little light switch behind the bed i've got a vase on here at the moment and i'm so excited because the camellia bushes are in full bloom and they are utterly breathtaking so i've brought some of those branches in. I love, I brought a little bit of modernness and a little bit of a rustic feel with this little candle holder. You guys, if you've watched any of our bedroom tours, you've seen the same exact stuff. The Cezanne room spray, which I'm like, I know it brings me to tears. It smells just like European shops. It's amazing and it sells out every time that I ever link to it. So I know you guys get so frustrated trying to find it because it truly smells as French as things can come. Now I've also got this room spray, which is from JP and Co. And that's what I've just sprayed in the room. And I gotta tell you, this is incredible. It's uh, evening night or I can't remember what it was called. I, I took the little label off because I want it to look kind of modern. I know he's gonna be like, what, you took my label off? 
know, but it just looks so cool in the matte black like this, okay? I think about what am I gonna wake up to? What am I gonna sit up and what am I gonna be looking at? So I've put one of my favorite pictures here. When we stayed in Switzerland, Quite a few years ago, we stayed in a cabin and we literally laid in bed and looked out the window and this is what we saw. Um, and then I've got this one big, amazing modern piece that I had custom made by Burt Home for me. It's a body pillow covered in velvet and it's incredible. Love to play with textures in the bed as well. Satin softness with the fur and the velvet. And then, oh my gosh, have I even mentioned the bed. I ordered this bed without even seeing a sample of it. It was in stock and it was boo clay and it was a whitish color and I literally just ordered it. I was like, I don't care what it looks like. I will take everything else out of the room to make this thing work. That's how much I loved it. And it's just perfection. So I absolutely love it. Now down here at the end of the bed, I've got this bench. This is the level bench from Article. It's one of my favorite pieces in the entire house. It's just this absolutely soft, durable leather. It is stunning. It looks incredible anchored on this striped rug. We've got the, of course, the Pottery Barn vase that I talk about all the time. I just absolutely love it. It literally has clippings from the garden right now. I've got this amazing candle. I found this on Amazon. It's really great candlestick holders. I've got it loaded with books because as we kind of said before, I like to read, especially on Sundays. So the books will rotate a lot of times in this space because I'll just grab something new and bring it in here. So I've also got this incredible wool blanket just sort of bunched up and thrown down because I sometimes do get I get cold a lot, so I'll just grab. I like to have an extra blanket if I really need it, just in here. All right, now that brings us to this side of the space, which is your side. My side of the bed. Yes. Let's start with this table because I absolutely love this table. Now, unlike Valentina, I don't need a lot near me, so I don't I don't spray <laughs> perfume on it and I or anything. <laughs> I know, I didn't even show them that the Chanel is actually hidden in my drawer. <laughs> no, you really do use the drawer, but I don't. I just yeah. need a place, honestly, most mornings, I need somewhere for my phone to sit or I need somewhere for my cup of coffee to sit if we're you know actually sitting on the weekend and watching something, but this table is amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. I think it's actually meant to be an outdoor table, but I just love that fluted design. I love it. And <laughs> well, and what I love about this, this is one of those places where she broke the rules. Like, yes. so many traditional design things, you'll always see matchy matchy or whatever, yeah. but, and I asked you at first, I was like, are we allowed to do this? Well, and I was like, oh, I don't know, do I want them to match? And I'm like, I don't care, I don't care. I it's like our it. room. Yeah. And we like these pieces. I love this yeah. piece. I know those accessories will change a lot because I just like changing things up and trying something new. Like, yeah. I know the bed, that'll, we'll switch out all that when the new year hits and we're ready for a new season. And I wanted to give us, oh, we didn't even talk about the light. The light was so good in here, I know. wasn't it? The light is amazing yeah. in here. Yeah, and I think that that just sort of sets that whole stage together. Now I did debate whether I wanted to keep going with the color and paint the ceiling. And that may still come. That may still come. Because I've learned <laughs> not to argue because she, I honestly, everything, like you blew me away with the color, so. Well, I did a lot of white in here and right now one of the doors is still black because I didn't even have time to come back and paint that white. I just like a little bit of contrast, but yeah. I think it would be amazing to actually paint the ceiling black. It would be iconic. All right, coffee's in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just wanted to be able to sit down and I think if you really think about what you love and don't focus on trends and different things, you guys know we love to talk about what's trending, what's coming in, what's coming out, but ultimately really understanding who you are and what brings you joy is always gonna help you create a space that you just can't wait to wake up too. And that's really important when it's the bedroom because- Totally, because this is where you wake up. I mean, every single day, this is what I told you that, and it made me eat my own words because I was, I was anti-dark paint for a while. But what I told her was, this is the room you wake up to every yeah. single day. It sets the tone for your day. It sets the tone for who you are and how you feel. Yeah. And 
I want I want to wake up feeling empowered in the morning. I want to wake up feeling like yes, not it, like it's ugh. cozy in the evening too. Oh, it's perfect. It's so cozy at night, and I just love it. Do you <laughs> also tell them that they can literally shop the entire room? I did not. Oh my gosh! I know it's your bit, Jack. It's my bit. Okay, pay attention because you can shop the entire room down below in the show notes. There's links to everything. There's also a link if you want to go download the PDF. Yes, and. Also, I've got the discount code for Brooklinen down in the description box. Yes. I don't want you guys to miss out on that because we are so impressed with these sheets. Yes, they're they are amazing. Amazing. And I think that you guys will really love them. We've had so much fun getting to see you guys. Cheers. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. I know, he's giving hugs. I know, somebody needs a good grooming. You are very scruffy. Yes, you are. You're so scruffy. I know, I need But you, oh my goodness, what now? Oh, he's like, oh, oh. sweet boy. <laughs> were you taking a snooze somewhere while we were giving a tour? Look at his fur. Yeah. You can, oh, you're gonna give me hugs. Oh, you are such a sweet puppy. Yes, you are. You are such a sweet puppy.